This is part 22 of Bootstrap Tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss disabling and making form controls read-only. Here, we have the list of classes and attributes that we use to disable or make form controls read-only. To disable some of the form controls, we may have to use both the disabled attribute and the disabled class. In our previous video, to disable checkboxes and radio buttons, we have used both the disabled class and disabled attribute. But most of the form controls can be disabled just by using the disabled attribute. Let's look at an example. Right here, I have an input element of type text. Notice at the moment we are not using disabled attribute, so this text box right here is not disabled. To disable this text box, all we have to do is use the Boolean disabled attribute. So when we reload our page, notice the text box is disabled, and when I hover the mouse over that disabled control, look at what happens to the cursor style. It changes to a stop sign. So this disabled attribute is used to disable individual form controls or all the controls in a field set. Let's now look at an example of disabling a field set. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Here we have a field set with an input element of type text, a select element, a checkbox, and a submit button. Let's save our changes. When we reload this page, notice none of the form controls within that field set are disabled. Now let's say we want to disable all these controls within that field set. One way to achieve this is by using the disabled attribute on all of these individual form controls. But then this approach is tedious and error prone. Better way of doing this is by using disabled attribute on the field set itself. When we do that, it's going to disable all the controls that we have within that field set. Let's save our changes. And when we reload this page, notice all the controls are now disabled as expected. Next, let's discuss how to make form input controls read-only. To make an input control read-only, use the read-only attribute. Read-only controls prevent users from making any modifications to their content and they appear just like disabled controls, except that the cursor style does not change to a stop sign on hover. Let's look at an example. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Here we have an input element of type text. Let's include an HTML break and then another input element of type text. On this first input control, let's use read-only attribute. And on this one, let's use disabled attribute. Let's save our changes and let's reload. The first one is read-only control. Look at this. On hover, the cursor style does not change to a stop sign. And the second one is the disabled control. And on hover, the cursor style changes to a stop sign. That's the fundamental difference between a read-only control and disabled control in Bootstrap. Both of them, in general, prevent the user from making any modification to their content. Next, let's discuss how to display plain read-only text next to a label within a form. So here is what we want to do. We want to display this plain read-only ID value 101 next to its label ID in a single row, as you can see here. We also have first name and its associated text box, last name and its text box. Let's look at this in action. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So here, we have a form element with class set to form horizontal. This class is going to line up labels and their associated controls in a single line side by side. So within the first div element, we have a label for ID. And then this value 101, which is the plain text that we want to display next to this label ID, is inside this div element. So the label is two units wide, and the value itself, which is present in this div element, is 10 units wide. And then we have another div element here. And within this div element, we have a label for first name, which is two units wide, and then the text box for first name, which is 10 units wide. And then within the final div, we have a label for last name, which is two units wide, and a text box for last name, which is 10 units wide. So if we view this HTML in the browser, this is how it looks like. Notice the ID value 101 is not properly aligned with its label. 
Whenever we want to display plain read-only text like this, Bootstrap recommends using form control static class on a paragraph element. So we are going to wrap this value 101 in a paragraph element and then on the paragraph element we're going to use this bootstrap class form control static which is going to line it up properly with its label ID. So let's flip to Visual Studio. So let's use a paragraph element here and on this paragraph element let's use form control static class Let's save our changes, reload this page. Notice now the ID value is properly aligned with its label. Thank you for listening and have a great day.